all yours. Oh, thanks, Bill. Well, thanks for you all <laughs> being here today. And uh, I'm glad to be back at AU. I was here, we were just talking, I was here in 2006 when I was in the middle of this uh, project that I was working on in the Am Amazon rainforest in Ecuador. From that project, I published this book, Crude Reflections. Those are some of the, so some of the pictures you see in, in your textbook uh, are from this project. So a little later today, we'll, we'll, we'll see some photographs from here and talk about the project. And one of the things that um, Bill and I talked about was uh, for me to speak a little bit about my journey from still photography to video, because now my latest project, I just finished a one hour documentary film uh, that we're now showing in film festivals, but it's, we primarily produced it for public television. Uh, and that will be uh, shown on public television next in 2011. I've, I've sort of gone back and forth in my career between documentary photography and photojournalism. So doing projects that are expanded and kind of long term and then doing photojournalism, which uh, uh, I got drawn to hard news. So I did a lot of hard news coverage and I worked for many years in, in Nicaragua. Um, but I've sort of been drawn to both of those. So I've gone back and forth in my career. And then starting in 2003, I've got interested in video. So I've been working in video uh, since that time. And what I found out and what I could, what advice I could give you as you're starting out is to, to find a project that you're very passionate about. Find something that you really are passionate about shooting and something that has a personal meaning to you. And I would say a project that you can go back to. So it's something that you can photograph, you can step out of it, you can look at your work, you can do your editing, and then you, you'll have the opportunity to go back in it. Now what I did in my case is I, as I, as I'm Italian American, uh, and I grew up in an Italian American household, and that was very important to me, but I didn't know anything about Italy. I never went to Italy with my parents, I, I went through throughout college and I had not gone to, to the country of Italy. So after I got out of college, this, this is something that I wanted to do. And I was also looking towards what I was going to do with, with my career. And at that point, I didn't really know. Uh, and I, I, after college, I went to Italy. And actually, while I was in Italy, seeing all the art and architecture, I really connected. I really felt a personal connection. And I felt I knew more about myself, even though I had never been there before. So I decided that that was something I wanted to photograph. I wanted to photograph the country and people of Italy. And so that became my project. That became, became my passion. So as I started out in photography as a freelance photographer, and I tried to start making a living, uh, I was doing whatever, I was doing public relations photography, I started doing some, um, some work for like weekly newspapers and alternative media publications. But one thing I kept going back to, I made several trips, was I kept going back to Italy. And I built up a body of both black and white, slide, black and white negative and prints and color slide work during that period of time. And that was, that was basically in the late, in the late uh, 1970s, the beginnings of the 1980s. Um, so that's sort of, that's where I was doing my documentation and that's where my heart really was. And, but, but it really allowed me to do everything you need to do for me as a photographer, which you have to do what, what is technical. You know, you gotta have your exposures and, your, and all that down. And you gotta do what is, is artistic, which is your composition, you know, what kind of composition are you going to use? And you have to do with what I would say is your story. And what story, what's the narrative, what story are you trying to tell? And to me, that story was my expression of my, uh, my opportunity to know more about the country and people that, that my family came from. And so if you keep that in mind, you should always try to keep that in mind when any assignment that you're doing is that, you know, you have, you know, you got you to gotta have the right technical, you know. It's not going to help you if you have a great composition and your photos 
two, three stops overexposed, or you want something to be, to stop the movement, but it's blurry because your shutter speed is too slow. You know, and you want the artistic, you know, you want to think about your composition and you want to use your expressive, artistic, creative self. And then you want to tell a story because that's really what it's all about. And that's where the line really is from, from still photography to, to video, is that you're telling stories. You're telling stories with the still photography, you're t you know, and you're telling stories. You're using pictures to tell both. In one case, the pictures are stopped, and in the other case, the <coughs> pictures are moving. But those elements, the story, the artistic, and you know, the technical, you have to have all those if you want, you know, to get the best work you possibly want. That's what you want to have in both still photography and in, in video.